Hello and welcome to this AMCRAS support video. Today we're going to show you how to correctly apply a reset code and reset your DVR or NVR's password. To get your reset code, you must first submit a password reset request form online. To learn how to do this, please see the link in the description below to view our corresponding video for more details. Please note, the following prerequisites are required in order for the password reset to work properly. Once you've completed the online password reset request form and it has been verified by Amcrest support, you will receive a set of codes by an agent. We recommend to power cycle your device by unplugging the power source and plugging it back in again. Access your DVR through a monitor connected to the HDMI or VGA port. Please note, this only needs to be done temporarily during the reset procedure. For security reasons, this cannot be done anywhere else such as on the Web UI, Surveillance Pro, mobile app, etc. The DVR or NVR must be connected to the Internet via an Ethernet cable. Without internet access, the password reset will not go through. This also only needs to be done temporarily during the reset procedure. Let's start with the password reset code procedure for the 960H, 650TVL, and QCAM devices. Once the password reset form has been verified by an Amcrest agent, we will have to complete the reset process over the phone with you. To get started, please go to your device's login screen and click on Forgot Password. A window will pop up providing you with a reset code, which you will need to provide to the Amcrest agent assisting you. The agent will then provide you with a super password to enter into your device's screen. Next, a window will appear prompting you to create a new password. It is recommended to choose a password that is at least six characters and contains only numbers. Special characters will not work. Confirm your password and click Next all the way through until the startup wizard is complete. You have successfully created a new password for your device. Take great care to remember it for future use. Please note, once the password is changed here, it must be manually changed for all connected applications such as Amcrest Smart Client, Amcrest Link App, Amcrest Link View, and other platforms because passwords do not automatically sync. This is imperative in order to prevent a user locked issue or fail to connect errors from happening due to mismatched passwords across multiple platforms. This concludes our 960H reset procedure. Moving forward, we will now cover the password reset code entry process for HDCVI DVRs and NVRs. Keep in mind, if you have created security questions before through the startup wizard, please use the lock icon by the password box. This will reset your password without having to go any further. If the questions are not set up or answered incorrectly, please proceed with the next steps. We will cover how to create security questions briefly later in this video. The reset process for the HDCVI devices requires a date-based code which matches the date displayed on the device's screen. This may be different from today's date. Please be advised that newer models may require a different reset code based on whether it has an S3 or HS at the end of the model number. Be sure you provide the complete model number to obtain the correct reset code for your device. To get started with the reset code entry procedure, go to your HDCVI user interface. Right click to bring up the main menu. Please ensure you enter admin for the username. We will cover other usernames later in the video. In the password field, please input the correct reset code for the system that has been provided by an agent. To reiterate, the reset code is based on dates which should match the timestamp date on your device's screen and may be different from today's date. Select OK when finished. At this point, the main menu will appear, indicating you have access to the settings. The password for the admin username must be modified to prevent a similar occurrence in the near future. Navigate to the Settings area, then click on System. Off to the left, select Account on the menu bar. Also verify you are on the User tab. Here, highlight the admin account. Click on the pencil icon, then check the Modify Password box. For the old password, please use the same reset code that we just used to regain access. Then create a new password. 
It is recommended to choose a password that is at least eight characters and contains a combination of upper and lowercase letters as well as numbers. Special characters will not work. Confirm your password and then click Save. This will bring you back to the previous page, which indicates the password change has been successful. As we mentioned before, this would also be the area to reset any other users. Please highlight each user and select the trash can icon. Confirm the deletion. This will delete the user and allow you to recreate the user by clicking the Add User button. In order to avoid a password reset situation in the future, you can set password security questions for yourself in the event your password is lost or forgotten. For more information, please see the description below for our other video about security questions, which will cover this in more detail. From the same window, you can simply scroll up and click on the Security Questions tab at the top. Or in the main menu, navigate to the Settings area, then click on System. Off to the left, in the menu bar, click Account, and then go over to the right and click on the Security Questions tab at the top. Please select or create two questions and provide answers. When finished, click the Set button. You will see a message appear near the top confirming the action has been completed successfully. We hope this video has helped you learn how to correctly apply a reset code and reset your DVR or NVR's password. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to our channel and check out more instructional videos from Amcrest.